everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today I'm going to talk about just a couple tools that can be your best friend when you're using your Samsung Galaxy device. So first off, let me just show you what happens inside your gallery if you take a lot of screenshots. There's just so many things that get inside of here, a lot of things that are just getting cluttered. And sometimes you just take a screenshot because maybe you just want to share it somewhere or with someone. Now, this is what I've always used, and it really helps out declutter that entire gallery inside of there. So let's say that you we're reading this article right here. Now, on the right-hand side, you will have your edge panels. And if you don't have these edge panels, just make sure that you go inside of your settings on the very top. Then once inside of your settings, you're going to scroll down. This is where you go inside of your display. Then inside of display, you're going to scroll down to where you see edge panels and just make sure that you turn this on. Now inside of the edge panels, this is where you want to go through and turn some of these on. And the one that we'll be talking about today is this one here that is called smart select. So once you run into something that you would like to share, you need to, you know, send somebody something that's super important, but you also don't want to clutter up your entire gallery. Just head right over here and you can choose the option of rectangle. Now, once you choose rectangle, Samsung got super smart when it came down to smart select because it's a way that it was able to select this image right here because maybe this is what you would like to send off. But if you wanted to, you can simply move this around. You can head it right up over here. And really, this is all you would like to send. Now, even though, yes, you could have taken a screenshot with the volume down and power or swiping your hand across the screen. But from here, what you're able to do is you can simply go to share now. So if you needed to to save it to your phone, you could, but if you only want to send this off, get it to somebody, get it out there, and that's really it. The moment you send it off, then you'll actually not have this image you know, here anymore. It'll say that the, the image has not been saved, and that's pretty much about it. So once you send it to somebody, you're getting your point across, and then you can just move on with your life, and it's not sitting in your gallery. Now, taking it just a little step further, if you have the Galaxy S21 Ultra with the S Pen, or if you have a Galaxy Note series, really just hover the S Pen over the screen Screen, hit on the S Pen button, and this is where you can do Smart Select right here. The other thing you can also do is Screen Right. Now, Screen Right also got super smart, so let's say that we move right on back, and what I want to show you is that exact same web page here. Now, again, if you wanted to open this up, if you go to Screen Right, because maybe you needed to write on the screen as well, you can notice that this one also got improved as well. So at least with Samsung Winnie Y 3.1, this is something that is brand new that I haven't seen yet. So here is this entire page where I'm able to write on it, do whatever I need to. Then I can just hit share and it sends it off. And that's basically all I wanted to do. You can download it if you want to, but here is this little rectangle. You can just tap that little rectangle and here it is. If you needed to write on the screen, you could. This is where you hit that little share button or you can even hit download as well. But really, I just wanted to show you how you're able to find something that you, you, you know you want to take a picture of. You don't need it saved in your phone. You just want to send it to somebody just to get a point across, to share something that's super important. And then also too, without decluttering or basically without cluttering your entire gallery. So if I just you know kept on taking screenshots and every single time you take a screenshot, it's all going to you know sit right up in here in the screenshots. You can see I already have quite a few in there. Again, all of these is just a way. It's a fast little tip to help you to where you can share what you want without cluttering up the gallery. And it's to me, one of my best friends because I use it oh so often. If you follow me up on Twitter, then you know that I post a bunch of images with chart reading. And really, this is how I do it without cluttering the entire gallery. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.